Hey guys, this is Dak Man back with another episode of DCUO News Bites. And guys, if you didn't catch my video just a little bit earlier today, uh, I did post a video taking a look at the UI changes on the test server. Make sure you go check that out because I'm not going to actually talk about it as a bit of news here. Uh, but obviously, I'll post a card uh, and it'll probably be at the end uh, at the tab uh, where it gives you a couple options for videos to watch. Uh, but if you have not checked that out, Pretty cool UI changes thus far. I like the way they look so far. I like the way they feel so far. Uh, and so I expect we'll probably see those pretty soon. I'm sure there's a little bit of buggy stuff they'll have to work out. Uh, but uh, right now I like the direction they're going with that. So let's go ahead and talk about the news we're going to talk about today. And obviously we always start on Wednesday talking about the bonus week. And this week's bonus week is bonus ally favor. Uh, bonus ally favor is always a pretty good week. Uh, especially if you need to level up some allies. So this will be for drops, not for the XP, just for the drops. So you can get the extra drops, but you will not get extra when you fortify. Uh, that will probably come a little bit later. I would hold on uh, to this extra gain until that happens, and then you can level up uh, allies a little bit faster. So this week, your chance to receive ally favor drops when defeating enemies is doubled. That means whenever you trigger an opportunity to get ally favor from enemies, that opportunity will trigger twice. Uh, the bonus begins Thursday, November the 3rd. Obviously, that is tomorrow and runs through Wednesday, November the 9th. Ally favor is used to rank up your allies. And, of course, please note the bonus week will begin uh, Thursday with daily server restarts and last through Wednesday, which they had already pretty much just told you. So, yes, uh, ally favor, a uh, good time for that because we just got the Black Adam ally uh, and some people are probably going to be interested in leveling him up. So, next, let's go ahead and take a look at some hot fixes. There were several to look at, and so let's just go ahead and kind of cut through them. Uh, Sins of Black Adam, uh, most of this is going to be Sins of Black Adam. You know, anytime a new episode comes out, there's bugs and glitches and all kinds of things that have to be fixed. This episode is no different. So, general, uh, Black Adam's communicator messages to look like his refreshed character model, and so it will look correct uh, when you're talking to him. Treachery of Black Adam, the on-duty menu now shows S-O-B-A before the Treachery of Black Adam solo instance name, just so that you know it sends a Black Adam. God's Eye Pyramid Elite. Players should now be able to rally twice during the boss fights, making it consistent with the Elite Raid behaviors. So there you have that. Raids, a health increase for Elite Raid bosses. Skeletons now have appropriate despawn effects, and so they fix that. Rock of Eternity, Felix Faust will use Lazy Blast more often. Uh, and that's one thing, I haven't really got to say it yet, but man, that is a short raid. That is a super short raid. Uh, one one room, as we've become accustomed to uh, over some time, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Uh, episode 40, going back a little bit, World of Flashpoint, Gotham City. Open world bounties that were previously set up as eight-player raid bosses are now set up as four-player group bosses. Uh, related mission descriptions have been updated to reflect this, and so... Uh, a little bit easier uh, to knock those off with four people. Moving over to the next day's hot fixes. Uh, General fixed a bug causing incorrect loot lock durations for non-members. Uh, SOBA Rock of Eternity warning for lazy blasts is only given once per attempt fighting Felix Faust in Elite. Still every time in event and normal. And so just making it a little more difficult for the Elite players. But uh, honestly, they're the guys that read the read the chat every time. They're the ones that see it every time. So uh, no big deal there. SOBA Neuron's world, Underworld, uh, fixed for selfishness, sometimes being unattackable uh, and doing nothing after the fight resets. So they have fixed that there. And moving over to the last one here, uh, episode 44, Sins of Black Adam. Uh, God's Eye Pyramid made some behind-the-scenes changes to the ISIS boss fight to prevent an issue where players succeeded in interrupting her and absorbing an orb, but she would only occasionally act as though the players didn't interrupt her. Uh, but she would occasionally act as though the players didn't interrupt her. Uh, and so uh, that was one fix there. And then the fall seasonal, a little bit late because it's almost over here, uh, but updated the fall seasonal on the Witching Hour countdown so it hits zero uh, on 11 to 22 at midnight. Uh, and so there you have uh, that. One last thing I want to go ahead and talk about today, and that is extra life. Uh, now this, I think, is a pretty cool deal. I give the devs an awful lot of grief. You guys know that very well uh, over a lot of things. But one thing I will always promote for them 
uh, is when they do these extra life live streams. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing done for kids, children's hospitals and stuff like that. Uh, and so they always give out some stuff. It's a pretty fun day. I wish I was going to be around to do this. I would love to get on there. I got to donate last year. Uh, I'm going to be sitting at a band competition. Well, probably not going to be sitting. I'm probably going to be pushing equipment, pulling equipment, loading a trailer, unloading a trailer, chasing down kids, feeding them lunch, you know, all that kind of stuff you do as a band parent. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's going to be all going on. So I won't get a chance to do this. You guys make sure you get in there. You support this, have a lot of fun for me. And if you can, uh, obviously donate, uh, to a worthy cause. So I'm just going to go ahead and read, uh, this just so you know what's going on. If you've never seen one of these before, uh, DCO extra life team is back this year and everyone's invited to join, help us help children in need in our local communities and be the hero. You know, you want to be. Uh, join the DC Universe Online team. You can do that. You can join their team uh, or you can just donate. Uh, when you join the team, if you're a streamer, uh, I know uh, Meta Knight does it uh, every year. Uh, if you want to jump in uh, with one of her streams, uh, it'll be a good one to donate to. Uh, but uh, yeah, you get on there, you can donate. If you can't, that's fine too. Anything you can do to help spread the word is powerful. And that means just as much as a donation for the cause. Uh, it's really very simple. Donate yourself, spread the word, or join the team. Uh, everyone wins no matter what you choose to do. Uh, and then here it says the DCO Extra Life team is working to raise at least $10,000 in 2022. That'll be pretty easy. They usually hit that kind of a goal pretty fast. Uh, check back often for information about how you can participate leading up to the game day on November the 5th. And that's the day I'm obviously gone all day long. Uh, Dimension Link Games will again kick off our fundraising with a donation of $5,000. Uh, let's make this a great year together. Uh, Extra Life is a charitable organization that unites thousands of gamers around the world to play games in support of their local Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Uh, since its inception in 2008, Extra Life has raised more than $87 million for sick and injured kids. Uh, by fundraising, our team is helping to support a local hospital that treats thousands of children each year, regardless of their illness, injury, or their family's ability to pay. That's a really big deal. Uh, and as the COVID-19 pandemic places new stresses on hospitals and community, Extra Life helps to ensure that the 170 Children's uh, Miracle Network hospitals around North America have resources they need uh, to care for the most vulnerable kids. Uh, DCO team will be supporting the local Austin uh, CMN Hospital, uh, Dell Children's Ascension. And so they have got one locally uh, near their offices or in the same area of their offices, uh, and that's the one they are going to be supporting. So it says here, the team member in the milestones, if you're a streamer uh, and you want to get in on that kind of thing, uh, this is what you can do. So join the team and reach one of the below personal milestones for an extra special reward. Uh, you can add these uh, for everyone to see on your personal page directly. Uh, the great thing about it is even if you can't donate, donate, getting others to donate will get you cool stuff too. Uh, team member milestone, one of those for $100. So if you raise $100, uh, extra life in-game title, you get the benevolent for one character on your account. Uh, if you get up to 300, you get that title for all the characters on your account. Uh, and so, you know, if you were ever going to have a title uh, to wear on a character, I hate titles on characters. Uh, that's one that I would at least look at you and go, that's a pretty cool person right there. For clarity, these 10 member milestones are unlocked. Uh, one, if you join the extra life uh, DCO team and two, uh, reach the milestone dollar amount donation. So you got to join the team and raise that amount of money and you get the milestones. Uh, now they're going to have new team incentives on boss battles. Uh, gather your friends, defeat bosses, choose your prize. Uh, when you defeat all your bosses, everyone in the area participating will also receive the reward. Time slots, uh, the incentives are limited and will be posted as, as incentives on the Dimensional Inc. Extra Life page. Uh, these will sell out and most will be posted periodically. Uh, this is a deal where you go donate and I can't remember if it was a certain amount of money or up, you know, you had to get to a certain amount of money or what. Uh, but when you do that, uh, you get to choose a boss fight where at, uh, in your phase, you can get your league together, friends together, stuff like that. Anybody just who happens to be lucky enough to be in the area, uh, to get in on those. Uh, but this year, the following rewards are the holographic rainbow chroma pack, the violet disruption material, green disruption material, quartz glass material, Sapphire glass material, amethyst glass material, fire opal glass material, caregiver cape, angelic aura, and the starry caregivers chroma pack, which has three materials in it. A uh, pretty cool deal right there. 
And so, yeah, uh, like I said, guys, if you got the chance, if you're anywhere around and if you can donate, that's great. Uh, if you can't, you know, if you're a streamer, maybe you can get on there and stream for them. Uh, I definitely would have liked to, but it is what it is. Uh, or you could uh, obviously uh, get on and just play and hope that you get into this kind of thing. I mean, any kind of promotion for them will help, uh, I would have to say. So, guys, with that, that's all I got for you today. Appreciate you watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Guys, thanks for watching to the end of this video. And if you liked what you saw, head down and leave me a like and a comment. If you haven't subscribed already, that option should be available on the screen, along with a couple of options if you want to see any more of my content. You can also follow me on Twitter at Dak underscore Mangamer if you want to connect with me there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you in the next video.